Greetings fellow the Groans and welcome to this week's episode of SOM Weekly or Shadow of Mordor Weekly, whatever way you want to interpret it, interpret it, or interpret it. Yeah, that's good grammar. And um, <laughs> we've gone for a change in style as um, George is going to be reading the stories and the questions and I'll be answering them. So, is that I'm going to start then. Um, uh, should we go with the main, yeah, go with the main story, let's I'm go. Go with the main story, you always start with the main story, God, God. The main story is that the Nemesis system has been scaled back for the Xbox 360 and PS3. So. Yeah, in other words, like, not in depth on the Xbox 360 and PS3. This kind of goes with um, what we said last week on the on this. That, um, it's not as concentrated on the uh, on the old gen. What is that what you call it now? Past gen? Yeah. Yeah, the past gen thing. Um, like, yeah, it's not as um, in depth on there, is it? Not as concentrated on there as it is on PC. PS4, Xbox One, and that's kind of how they're doing it. Like when I originally read it, I thought it meant scale back two and means it's only going to be on there, but it's not. I was wrong. I misread it. George corrected me. So I said um, like multiple texts of them saying, "No, it's not. It's not." Yeah, and then he went. Then you, t- you actually just went read it properly, and then I read it properly, and you went, "Oh." So yeah, and um, so yeah, it was kind of one of the things that was going to happen if it's not concentrated on there, and it's kind of showing. The evolution from the, well, it's kind of showing that how it's not going to be concentrated on there really, which is kind of what's expected, isn't it, George? Any, yeah. Any comments you want to make? Well, it's dep- I don't see how they would have to scale back, but it's maybe I'm not a technician guy, so I probably had to do it to make the game like more fun for 360 PS3. Yeah, maybe it probably couldn't handle it. You mm. don't know yet. Well, uh, I don't. I don't know how they're gonna do it. They might have to like only could only use it at certain points in the game or something. Or mm. we we don't know. We'll see when uh, the game gets released. I suppose. Um, so the ne- the next piece of news is pre-orders are now uh, available for the game. So you can go out and pre-order the game. Yeah, you can pre-order it, even though we don't know what the release date is yet. Uh, have you have you ever seen that happen before? Well, pardon? Where you could pre-order the game when you don't know when it's coming out. Yeah. Have you? I've never seen that. Oh, yeah, I have. I pre-ordered GTA 5. And now I didn't know when that was coming out. Well, it said May 2013, but it didn't come out then. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you can pre-order. You can go on the um, Shadow and Mordor website. You've got to put in your date of birth or you can lie about your date of birth. And then um, pre-order it on that with your card and stuff. Or I'm not sure if you can do it in shops yet, but on the... Shadow of Mordor with you, and on the Shadow of Mordor website, it just says pre-order from there. So I think you can only pre-order from the website so far, but I'm not I'm not too sure on that. I I looked around on the shops and I searched Shadow of Mordor and nothing came up. So I think it's just the website. Yep. Yeah. So it's kind of an ear, kind of an earliest time for it to be pre-ordered. I think with just being announced only two months ago. Well, yeah, to announced two months ago, wasn't it? Mm. So the news has been pretty quiet this week. This is kind of how it's going to be all the way up to release, really, for us. Yes. Yeah. yeah, there's not going to be... Maybe there might be, like, up towards close to release, there's not, there might be a bit more coming out, but, um... Yeah, this is getting probably yeah. two new stories each week now. So let's get to questions. Yes. Lewis Magna uh, said, I'm a massive Lord of the Rings fan. Is and that Louis Magna or Lewis? L- Lewis? Louis? Lewis, because there's, there's one direction person called Lewis Tomlinson or something like that in there. I thought it was Louis but, Tomlinson. Louis, it must be Louis Magna, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, like Louis Walsh, it's spelled like that. Yeah, okay, it's Louis. So, yeah. Louis Magna, I am a massive Lord of the Rings fan, and what do you think happened in this time period? Um, I'm guessing it's the time period between, well, because Tolkien never wrote about it, but um, I don't know. Well, there's obviously going to be some stuff, quite a lot of stuff, like happening in Mordor, Mordor like the um, Orc army kind of gathering strength and stuff. We know we know that Gollum's going to get captured because that was written about in the book. We um, there's not a lot that we know really um, that's going to happen, and I, I think there's probably going to be like a lot more like regrouping of orky orc stuff and a lot of attacks on villages and stuff like that. But um, I, I, that's just speculation really. If you go on the Shadow of Mordor website, there's actually a whole forum about what they think happened in this time, and there's some interesting ideas on them. Some ridiculous, I'll admit, but there's some. All right, once. What do you think happened, George? Um, 
Um, um, um, Throw a wampus posturous idea out there. A massive pair of tits came out of nowhere and they're fighting over them. Yeah, that's going to happen in the game. Actually, talk to um, one of other studios and then you'll see how that will actually happen in the game. There's an actual interview, George. I, don't, I can't believe you actually seen that from the interview. There's some, going to be some massive pair of tits that's going to come down and are going to fight for him outside of Mordor. So, yeah. <laughs> I love me pair of tits. Yeah. That's, that's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, so uh, Louis or Louis, we're not sure what's going to... Um, well, I, I, I don't know. I think there's going to be more regrouping of orc armies and stuff like that, and there's going to be more evil spreading around Mordor, but as, like, quests and or missions as they're going to be in this game, as the developer said in an interview, I don't know what's, what's kind of going to be happening. I'm just, I'm just, but we'll see. There might be get more videos and stuff released soon, maybe in a few, well, in a, maybe in a few weeks' time, but we don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Next question, um, George. The next question is by Eben Hart Pat. When will SOM get released? We don't know. Not at all. We're, It'll probably be... Well, he, a, says this year 20, he says this year. But do you want to go, I, George? I, I, I reckon it'll be around October, November. The Christmas period of all yeah. games get released. That's when we normally release. Yeah. Like, um, there's, like, there's, there's always like, the, there's, like, the big dates and there's, like, there's Easter time, isn't there? When, yeah, when, that's... Yeah. Then there's September, which like GTA 5 got released last year in FIFA and that. And then there's like the Christmas period, isn't there? Yeah, so, like, November, October. Yeah, so it's probably going to be either September or Christmas, and it says pre-alpha on the thing, so it's probably going to be more around the Christmas time. But it said 2014. Like, again, like, um, we'll, pro we'll release it like, probably straight away when we find out. We'll probably do like a special episode, maybe. George, won't we? When, when we yeah, find out the release date, we'll probably do a special episode when we find out. And then, um, it'll probably be everywhere. So, uh, or maybe it might be nowhere, depending. So we'll we'll see when the, it get, gets come out. But it, it only says twenty fourteen on the toil on the trailer on the trailer. I'm turning into you, George. Fuck off, yeah. <laughs> Twat. All right, do you want to attempt in, attempting to say the last name because I don't. Next, have a... The next guy is X Argonian X Boy. Oh, I thought it was Argonian. <laughs> That's quite clever. Uh, is S O M? <laughs> I just realised it. I, yeah. okay. It could be it could be X I G O N I O N X by, but Argonian looks. I think it might be. Yes. If I said is 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 uh, is S O M going to be like Batman where you have to look for quests or like A C where you're told to go where to go? So. Um. Apparently, it's going to be like um. Yeah, like it, there was an interview, like an eleven-minute interview with one of the developers. I can't remember his name. It began with a P. I think it was Peter. Um, but um, he he um, said that he was there was an interview about the, how the sandbox nature of the game is, which means how open the game's kind of is, sort of thing. That's kind of the best way to describe it. And um, he he kind of said like it's going to be quite open. Like there is going to be sort of like side quests that you can go out and look for, but there is going to be elements to it where you're kind of told what to do and where to go sort of thing so it's probably going to be more like the assassin's creed thing on that it's not i'm not sure <clears throat> i'm not sure how the bat thing batman thing worked but um i'm going to guess that it kind of told you where it kind of had to go out and look for quests but i think assassin's creed is going to be like like markers on your map or something and you go like and then you go and do them i'm going to guess but i'm sure if you like if you don't want to do any of the quests you don't have to like a bit like Grand Theft Auto, if you kind of really sort of think about it, like him, um, there's no, it kind of tell you where the quest is, and if you want to go and do it, you go do it, and if you don't want to do it, you just do what you want. Anything you want to say on that, George? Nope. No. It, well, what well, looks of things, it kind of looks like it's taken everything from Assassin's Creed anyway, so they might as well take this bit as well. The Assassin's Creed 2 developer even said, that is the same engine as I used. I made, I spent three years on that game, and it, I know my engine when I know it. Yeah, he said... He's yeah. not bothered. He's, he's not bothered. He said it looks like a badass game, but... Yeah, he said that, and then um, the and then the developers from um, one of the studios says he got he got inspirations from Assassin from Assassin's Creed. So yeah, it's so the kind of... ropes have the exact same thing. You know when you climb over the ropes and like yeah, has the exact same animation, exact same ropes. Yeah. Bit, yeah, but you know. It'll be a badass game. Yeah, it's and it's pre alpha, be... so they'll change it. Yeah, so well, they'll, they'll probably keep it the same now but, because everyone's going like, oh, it's like Assassin's Creed. But everyone, did anyone actually compl ever complain about the free jumping in Assassin's Creed or climbing in Assassin's Creed? 
No. Ever. I don't think so, because it's not the best part of the game. And if you want to see the best part of the game, then just, you know, just make sure to watch my Assassin's Creed 4 Let's Play on this channel. Um, <laughs> do you want to advertise anything, George, and then we could kind of talk a bit about the schedule? If you want. I don't really have anything to advertise, apart from... Elder Scrolls and Nine Forge getting released a lot, and we will be streaming this weekend. Yeah, we will be. Um, I'm going to learn how to via YouTube videos, so I'll be doing that. Did you, know, uh, you can even ask me because I know how to. Oh, well, right, then pretty... I'll ask you after this. Uh, so oh, we'll be I, I, streaming. Oh, do you use the fraps? In OBS is totally. Oh, right. Oh, okay, right. Uh, you uh, explain after. Okay, well, we'll be streaming most weekend. I want to see if I can download the beat and play with Connor because I, I'm in a. I ain't got. I don't. I don't have the file downloaded, but I have a crap ton of files recorded. Yeah. Um, I like such as the shoddy cast and Tommy or Foundry. How they've got their footage is how I've got mine. Just say that. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, should we kind of so, talk about the schedule starting from Monday? Uh, first thing. So instead of watching shoddy cast and Tommy or Foundry's all their live streaming because they're gonna be shit. Yeah, just watch ours. Ours is. Just watch that. Ours is gonna be the best. Yeah, that's going to be from probably this Saturday and Sunday. Because, well, I... But well, it's Saturday and Sunday for me. George will probably do it whenever. Whenever I can be asked. Yeah, um, but because he's... Uh, yeah, so I'm um, like... I, I c Saturday night might... Well, I won't be. Sunday night I might be. Yeah. Saturday night. I'm off to watch a comedian. Come yeah, I, I'll be doing it... Um, I'll be doing it on Saturday. Probably any Saturday night, around about 7, 8 o'clock. And then... Well, probably after Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway when I'll live stream. <laughs> uh, and British. Then, America's like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well, get, get into British shows, you'll understand. And then. Um, Ant and Dex are like the most British presenters yeah. in the world. They, they do everything. Yeah, I'll, and then um, like, I'll probably do that, and then I'll probably do a bit on um, Sunday as well. I'll probably do mainly Saturday night, though. I'll probably do a good five hours in on Saturday night because I want to get as much played in as possible because I want to do PvP. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, should we talk about the schedule starting from Monday? Schedule starting from Monday. That's your um, opinions on the ESO thing. Opinions on the ESO? Yeah, where you give, um, ba well, basically give opinions on different parts of the game. On I mean, Tuesday is your... New movie game news. And gaming tips and tricks, innit? Um, yeah, I'm going to do that on a Saturday. Is it? Oh, you changed, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it this Saturday. I'm going to start next week because um, this Saturday it's... It's CSO beta weekend, so I'll be doing that. Uh, and um, so I'll be doing that uh, uh, on Tuesday. Wednesday is um. Oh no, Tuesday's gaming tips and tricks, innit? So I just said. I thought you said gaming news. No, I oh, said no. gaming yeah, tips and tricks. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, I got it all wrong. Got it all wrong. Tuesday's see, gaming. See what I have to deal with every day. Coming from you, where you lose everything every day. Thank you. Well, what did you do the other day with the um with your phone at the computers? Oh, I left my phone out of computers and. Uh, what did you do last week at 3G when you were like walking away and then you uh, left, my left phone your there. phone there as well? Yeah, that's kind of the stuff that George is. And yeah, so Tuesday's gaming tips and tricks. Where um, next week is going to be Lord of the Rings Online, where I've been kind of been playing, got, gone back into that a bit and watched a few videos. I'm kind of struggling to find tips, but I, I'll, I'll see if I can find a few. Um, Wednesday's new movie news. Um, where yeah, yeah kind of. Says what it says in the tin. Thursday's um by Thursday by weekly is um George. That's your thing in it. Your Thursday. um um your um no no that's our movie news. Movie, uh, news. movie, movie talk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and um I'll be doing your guide to ESO when I'll kind of be doing like um going through different things and saying how it's done and stuff like that. Um Friday is this, so and weekly. Saturday, George, you're starting gaming news, aren't you? I'm going to try. Yeah. Um, and then, um, I don't know why I said I, I'm, it's my gaming news on Saturday. I, I don't know. And then um, Sunday, it's ESO Sunday, where every two weeks we're doing the um, round table panel, isn't it? Yeah. With Space Cadet Marty, Baldy37, um, Matthew Mantic, and um, L.O.T.R. Zagoroth. Yeah. That, that's the people, and that's kind of it for this week, isn't it? Yep. <sighs> um. Tune in next week for it again. Subscribe to the channel for all Shadow of Mordor news and gaming stuff and film news and the general stuff. You go around the channel, you'll see. There's kind of a lot of stuff there. We've got this is 
our eighty first video, I think, George, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, we have forty seven, forty seven forty seven subscribers. Forty seven. I thought it was forty forty five, wasn't it? Let me just check we came to subscribe earlier. Oh, did we? Wait. This is kind of what it's like every time we get a subscriber. Like, we got one, yay! And then we throw sorry, a huge... Six, sorry, six subscribers, yeah. Yeah, sorry, so we, we've gained one. With 4,700 views. That's kind of how we roll now. We're a huge channel. Um, PewDiePie, watch out. That's all I've got to say. Um, 23 million subscribers. We'll only get that by tomorrow, mate. Yes. <laughs> watch out. Um, that's kind of it. Do you want to sign off? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Of course you did because it's always on with amazing. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Like I just said, subscribe for more videos for, such as like Lord of Rings Online, Tips and Tricks and... That's going to be on Tuesday. Today. FIFA Daily, Elder Scrolls Online, as much as we can. Uh, favorite video if you want to come back and show your friend, mates. And hope, and hope you enjoyed the video, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Good, goodbye.